Hello everybody, you might know me as a TikTok guy. That's where most of us start these days. We come from a very interesting platform, but today we have something interesting we will be doing. I retired the quizzes on this channel, but I'm bringing them back for this very interesting one. It is called, which TikTok guy should you date? So, I'm curious to know, I, I, I wanna take this quiz because there, I'm probably gonna see a lot of my friends in here, a lot of people that I know about, you know, a lot of people that I might have some tea on. I don't know, we might get some tea spilled. Probably not, I'm not a messy person. I don't like messy people. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna take the quiz to see which TikTok guy I should date. Probably gonna get someone that I know and there's nothing wrong with that, but let's hope it doesn't make things awkward for me with any of my peers. So anyways, without further ado, let us get into this quiz. First question, first question. Uh, I have a feeling some of this is gonna be kind of OG stuff. It's always good to have someone to look up to. Which TikTok girl do you relate to most? Um, okay, so we got Addison Rae, Charlie D'Amelio, Lauren Gray, and Baby Ariel. I have very little, probably the least information on Lauren Gray. I, I don't really know who that is. Baby Ariel, I've heard some things about just because I've not heard things, I've just like seen Baby Ariel around. I'm pretty sure she's from the Musical.ly era. Um, Charlie D'Amelio and Addison Rae are the only ones I really kind of know things about. And the only thing I know about each of them is one that Addison Rae dates people and gets into drama without wanting to. And then Charlie D'Amelio dates people and gets into drama. I don't, I don't really think it's necessarily without wanting to though. I think, I don't know. I don't know a lot about these people. Okay, this is kind of, this is kind of out of my, out of my loop, out of my, my circle of knowledge, but if I had to relate to one the most, oh uh, man, I guess maybe uh, Charlie D'Amelio. I feel like Charlie D'Amelio's got like this very wholesome upbringing and is trying to find a way to grow into being an adult or a woman. And people are kind of wanting to keep her into this like, wholesome bubble not not wholesome but like you know very like i don't know like how she always has been like very happy and positive and nothing bad or anything and i feel like i feel like we're gonna see big things from charlie d'amelio i'm just gonna go charlie d'amelio nothing too deep there because i don't know that much about either of these people um your tiktok dream guy is most talented at singing dancing comedy or sports <laughs> um Let's go with what I think I'm good at, which is comedy, I guess. Definitely not dancing. What is your favorite celebrity on TikTok? Okay, so these are like A-list celebrities. Jason Derulo, Kylie Jenner, Lizzo, or Charlie Puth. Man, you know, say what you will about Jason Jason Derulo. He really uh he really made a made a stamp on an era of TikTok. There was a point where you couldn't even go on the app without him um coming up on your for you page. Okay, okay. Enough about him. Let's focus. How would your friends describe you? You know what I'm gonna ask my friends? Uh. Okay, most of them said shy, but some of them said like spontaneous or adventurous. I'm gonna go with what most people probably perceive me to be, although I'm not really shy. I'm just kind of more like, I don't really want to fucking talk to people, bro. Like, it's just like so much work. Like, and we don't do anything. We don't get anything done, man. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna shy. Do you have a TikTok? You have no idea. Of course, I'm on it every day. Yes, but I'm not on it. Well, I'm on it every day. I have to post every day, so I'm on it every day. Are you an e-girl? To the core, I sometimes rock the style. Definitely not. What's an e-girl? Oh, I'm an e-girl. To the core, I'm an e-girl. Okay. Do you like bad boys? No. No, I am the bad boy. I like good boys. <laughs> have you had your heart broken before? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yes, more times than I can count. Everyone needs a sidekick. Which of these dogs would you want to shoot a TikTok video with? Okay, I'm just gonna go with the one that stood out to me at the very beginning because I have a thing for pugs. I just love them. They're such a meme. We're going with ramen pug, bro. No question. Do you have a nickname? Yes, and everyone calls me. And I have two nicknames. I have Arnie as my nickname and then Burlap as my other nickname, which is what you guys call me. Do I like e-boys? Do I like e-boys? I'll let my following tab do the talking. What would you do if you bumped into your favorite TikTok star while out? 
Full freak out. I must get a vid in with them. Play it cool and hope they don't know. Hope they notice me. Bump into them on accident or approach slowly and tell them I'm a huge fan. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest. I've been around so many like really, really famous people that I never thought I would ever be around. Right. And this is not a flex. This is just me like saying like, you know, younger me would never have anticipated being around people like like XQC, Hassan, and then, you know, old OG YouTubers like Rice Gum, FaZe Clan. Like I was around a whole bunch of these guys at, at TwitchCon because I'm a partner. So I went and um, for the first time, I just kind of wasn't really phased by other people like I can't think of very many people that I'm a huge fan of. I'm a huge fan of people that I'm friends with. Like, I'm I'm a huge fan of my friends. I like to support them and their content. But I can't really think of anyone I aspire to be like. I mean, other than there's this one artist. His name is John Bellion, but he makes music. I'd probably fangirl if I saw him. So if I saw him, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like answer the question if I like I saw John Bellion. Like, that's the only motherfucker on this planet I hold to another standard, like, above human. Like, above me. Above everyone else. That's John Bellion. Literally, like, his music has gotten me through so much, so much stuff. If I bumped into John Bellion on the street, oh, man. I would not play it cool. I would have to... I wouldn't bump into them on accident. Don't do that, guys. That's weird. Approach slowly and tell them I'm a huge fan. I probably wouldn't fully freak out. I'd probably approach slowly and just be like, I freaking love your music, man. Like... You have no clue, dude. Like, also, one of my biggest bucket list items is to ask John to uh, to give me a tattoo to get so I can get it tattooed because he's the reason why I started getting tattooed. But anyways, I'd probably approach slowly and tell him I'm a huge fan. If you dated a famous TikToker, how do you think you'd handle their fame? That's a good question because that would be quite the situation, right? If I dated a famous TikToker, man, I'd thrive in it. Their fame is my fame. No. Definitely not. Not for me. I like my privacy. I think it would get old. Or as long as I don't get the gel let the jealousy get to me. I would say a mix of not for me. I like my privacy and I think it would get old. I wouldn't say it's not for me, because I'm a pretty firm believer in like, you know, if I like someone, even if they're in a line of work that I think it would be difficult to be with them in, I would still have feelings. So I would make it work. I would find a way. It would definitely get old. Um, it would definitely get old. It's because, you know, it's, it would probably be like, I mean, I can't even imagine dating someone else that does what I do and is like has their own following because I feel like both followings would like clash maybe or like there'd be like, I don't know. I like sharing my life with you guys. But like if I had a like a relationship like that, I think it would get really toxic to share that with the world, at least often, you know? Oh man, I wouldn't say not for me, uh, but I do like my privacy. I, I, I'm gonna go with, I think it would get old. I think it would get old, yeah. Okay, what's your favorite thing to do to show your boyfriend that you care? You know, I'm starting to think this test is more about boyfriends than TikTokers, which is okay. Shower him with gifts. I uh, take him out on a surprise date, write him a poem or cook him his favorite dinner. Probably shower, shower him with gifts, yeah. Pick a female TikTok star you think you would butt heads with. Fuck, man. Okay. Avani looks... Uh, I feel like I'd vibe with Avani. I don't even know if that's how you say her name. Um, I think they're all pretty cool people. I wouldn't fight with any of them. I would say if, if that weren't true. Your TikTok boyfriend says he'll pick you up at 8 p.m. <laughs> pick a car that your TikTok boyfriend would drive. Pick me up in the the Honda Sonata, whatever the hell that is. I don't even know what that is. There's a Mercedes Benz, another Mercedes Benz, just some random unmarked blue sports car that I can only see the front of. Um, but this one looks like it's parked inside outside of a, a very expensive house. So we're gonna pick that one. Pick an accessory on your first date. Oof, we're rocking these, those bad boys. Oh yeah. Would you want to date me if I showed up to our first date looking like this? Comment down below. Be honest. Time to go out for a fancy red carpet event for your TikTok boyfriend. Which gown do you choose? I feel like we just need to come to terms with this, guys. I am the TikTok boyfriend they are talking about, okay? So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick for you. What would I want you to wear? Hmm, I don't know. That looks like some Disney princess shit. I don't know if I really fuck with those. Um, that looks like you're doing too much. Um, it looks a little ridiculous not gonna lie this looks like you're getting married 
This is all right. If it was in black, it would probably be better, but that's just my opinion. I think that about everything though. So, you know, we'll just pick this one. What superpower do you wish you had? Oof. Ability to fly to be able to control people's minds, shapeshifter, or control the weather. <sighs> it's gonna be either, wait, control? I thought it was like, read people's minds. But if, if I shape, if I could shapeshift, dude, there's some endless possibilities there. If I could control people's minds, I'd probably make everyone bring me like one dollar and then i'd be rich i just mind control the whole world and be like yo everyone listening right now bring me one dollar and then i will be rich and i won't have done anything bad to anyone to get rich because it's just a dollar but everyone gave me a dollar shapeshifter though i could do some interesting things here you know the content would be out of this world the pranking i could do with that <laughs> insurmountable i don't know what that means i i just know it is that bringing have making everyone bring me a dollar thing that's pretty that's pretty full proof that's pretty nice that's pretty good i'm gonna go with that controlling people's minds just because of that i got josh richards why josh is your perfect match you are both driven entrepreneurs and always think of new businesses that you can run together where on earth did you get that from what you asked me you asked me what wallpaper i would choose if i moved in with my boyfriend what car i'd want him to pull up in and what dress i would wear to go on a date with him where did you ask me anything about business um josh launched his first company at the age of 13 and you love that drive you both have a passion of dancing and lip syncing I literally didn't pick dancing every time. You are so proud of him having more followers than Kylie Jenner. Oh yeah, I'm so proud of that. That's my biggest flex ever. He's done such a great job to get to that point. And you love to brag about to your friends. And you love to brag to your friends about him, I guess. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Josh, Josh Richard seems like a really cool guy. I've never seen him in, in some... I, I really, I've really never seen him doing anything like crazy or bad. You know, so I have like no real opinion on him. If anything, I feel like I'd, I'd friggin', I mean, I feel like we'd chop it up very nicely in person and we'd hang out and, and, and vibe. Um, but my, my TikTok boyfriend, that's kind of crazy, man. That's kind of crazy. I don't know about that one. That is it for this video. Comment down below who your TikTok crush is, but you can't pick me or anyone that I follow. How about that? You can't pick me or anyone I follow on Instagram. Comment down below who it is. Please make sure to like and subscribe uh, for more content. I have some interesting things planned for you guys here to come. I think you will all enjoy. And uh, I will see you in, in those videos in the next coming weeks. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Peace.